It's your girl, Bondi Blue. Okay, follow me on Instagram and let's get into the video. Hey everybody, what's going on, girl? I'm off center. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your girl Bonnie Blue and I am back, girl. I was watching Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip like all this morning making notes. So I'm going to do a video for that tomorrow for the first three episodes because I need a break after watching the first two. But it's good, girl. It's giving. I don't like the way Portia got me feeling. Like, I'm happy to see you, but you also work on my nerves. It's a very confusing feeling. But that's not what we here to talk about right now. We're here, girl, to talk about what's going on with Escape because that's all we've been talking about all week is Escape and SWV and Tamar and just all of this stuff going on. So Latasha started her own YouTube page and decided to respond to a lot of what Candy has been saying and what folks have been saying, what Tamika has been saying. And when I saw it, I was just like, girl, you doing a lot. First of all, it's the it's the mannerisms, okay? It's the way she's talking. You know what I'm saying? It's the way she she is orating the situation. Like, it's just giving dramatization to the nth degree. It's giving you doing a lot. It's giving, I don't know if I can trust you, girl. That's what it's giving. So we're going to watch. We're going to do a little reaction. And then I'm going to go on about my way, girl. Okay? Um, so make sure y'all like the video when y'all come in. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel, Road to 100K. Okay? So please, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Like the video. Okay? Become a member if you are not. Because, girl. Y'all see Love and Marriage Huntsville coming back, huh? We might have to do a little watch along uh, for my members. Because I feel like we can do a members like little watch along for that after this. Um, I'm going to just have to post the link. It's just because I don't know if they're going to let it rock on YouTube, girl. Um, we'll see. I might just get up here live and we might just look at the trailer. Um, or we can do them both in this live. We'll decide once I get finished talking about Latasha, girl. Latasha and her real, real tight turtleneck that she got on, girl. Her real, real tight turtleneck, girl. Like, it's giving, you know, a whole bunch of God stuff going on, but it's giving drug dealer in the apparel. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's giving we used to do wrong shit, but the Lord has saved us, okay? So without any further ado... Again, like the video, please. Let's go ahead and get into it so we can get some understanding, okay? What's up, y'all? It's Tasha. What's up, girl? I don't normally do this. Uh, you don't? Does anybody want to speak on it? And I ain't spoke on it. You didn't? Let's speak on it. Okay, so her editing in, like, the little things for me, like Candy does on Speak On It, hilarious, girl. Hilarious. We appreciate you for taking the extra step and going the extra mile to entertain us. We really do. Um, also, I want to start off because you lied. Like, what you mean? Let's speak on it. She what? said, look, 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 that part right there. And I ain't spoke on it. Let's speak on it. Let's speak on it. As you can see. Okay. I have been... Now, y'all, she says she hasn't spoken on it, right? Okay. Just, just for, I, I just want to do this for a second, girl. Just for a second. Um, Let's see. Latasha Scott interview. <laughs> okay, so there's one from eight days ago. There's one from a day ago. Oh, look at me. I'm on live. Um, let's see. This is an interview that happened 11 days ago. Like, I just kind of feel like, why are you acting like you haven't been talking about shit when you've been doing interviews too? You may not have been doing speak on it or getting up here on YouTube like Tamika is doing, but you absolutely have been speaking on this situation. So it's already starting all bad for me, but let's go. Out promoting my album which by the way comes out April 7th, Good Friday, y'all go cop that. And I have not had time to address this foolishness, but today I got time. Let me start with this. It was definitely a deflection, but at the time we didn't know that she already had her solo deal in place. Last year, the top of 2022, my husband initiated the conversation with the label for me and my sister, that's right, to do a gospel album, a gospel <laughs> duet album. That's right. <laughs> 
That's right, okay? In case y'all missed it, while Tamika is over there acting like she all buddy-buddy with Candy and Tiny, oh yeah, she was shopping a gospel album with me. <laughs> Girl, Latasha is extra as fuck. I love it. Us. But they ain't tell you that though, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but they ain't tell you that though, huh? huh? Like, girl, give me a fucking break. <laughs> she doing the most. I love it. I love it. I'm sorry. Keep hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a that's a receipt. Let's go back. <laughs> it's real. It is real extra, y'all. It's real extra. <laughs> okay, she says, "Hi, Matt. I don't know who Matt is. I hope you had a great." Super Bowl weekend, I just wanted to follow up with you, EJ and Monica, and see if you had a chance to speak further with your team regarding Latasha and Tamika. Gene, Rocky, and I shared with the ladies how great the call went last week, and we're all super excited for next steps. So, this seems to prove that Tamika and Tasha were going to do a gospel album together. Is that what I'm getting? Okay, this doesn't really prove that just because somebody sent an email shopping an idea or because we were talking about something doesn't necessarily mean it was going to happen. But either way, girl, I believe you. I'm not going to argue with you. You and Samika was going to do a gospel album. Okay. We're going to keep moving forward, okay? In all transparency, I really didn't want to do the show. I'm being honest. You know, but I talked to my sister and she was like, you know, we could get our cookbooks out. We can do the spices. We can do music outside of the group. And I believed her. I was literally. <laughs> and I believed her, but she lied to me. That That's what the, <laughs> that's what that felt like. And I believed her, but she lied to me. Last person to sign the contract to be on the show. She was the last person. I believe that. They made Candy feel like she was the last person. Candy had just recently said that they really had everybody thinking that, you know, they were holding it up so that they would get it signed. Child Mona know what to do. And the reason I did it, because I wanted to do it with my sister. For years. Oh, you wanted to do it with your sister. You wanted to do it for your sister. You didn't want to do it so that you could raise your profile and promote this gospel album. You didn't do it so that you could get this solo deal. Girl, you lying to us. Girl, you is lying to us. Tamika has blindly gone along with what her sister wanted. Yeah. I have yeah. never went against my sister for nothing. <laughs> even, even when she was wrong, I was against y'all. Because that's my family. That's loyalty. What's so funny? I'm going to tell you what's funny. What's funny is that Candy had been saying this the whole time. And everybody was acting like Candy was on bullshit. So now Candy has got the I told you so face. The face of I told y'all that she was like this. And y'all was trying to act like it was all me. Okay, that's what Candy's face was. And Tiny laughs at everything. <laughs> because... If y'all ask me, time to be on edibles. Like, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. I just want to say that. Truth be told, I've always had my sister's back. Y'all don't remember? I remember a cup. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> no, we got to we gotta do it again. Hold up. Hold up. We got to do it again. Truth be told, I've always had my sister's back. Y'all don't remember? I remember a couple of times I had to have my sister's <laughs> back so throughout the interview. <laughs> when they tried to kick my sister out because oh, yeah. she got, got pregnant. pregnant. And they came yeah. to the group and they were like, um, we're going to have to find a replacement for your sister. You know what? You can, we'll pay for you to have an abortion. You stay in the group or you have your baby, you know, and we'll, we'll you know, kick you out. So I told them they need to find a replacement because I wasn't killing my baby. And I told them they're going to have to find two replacements because if my sister goes, I go. Right. But I couldn't, I, you, me with them without my sister? Oh, girl, it would have been terrible. It would have took all your money. <laughs> Actually. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? Honestly, if I was Candy, I would have been laughing at that 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 one moment right there with Tamika because she's all up her sister's, you know. Mm. Okay, let's call a thing a thing, people. She said she did whatever for her sister. This seems like one of them moments. Girl, they would have stole all your money. They would have stole all your money. Meanwhile, $30,000 checks are getting signed into Rocky's bank account that belong to Tamika. Isn't that funny? The first scene was not supposed to be at our mother's house. It was supposed to be at the church where my sister and I were supposed to rehearse our very first gospel performance. Okay, we got to fast forward. We, ain't got, we can't do all that. 
Okay, she was singing her forehead off. Never would have been the cussing, the fussing, the lying, the disrespect. That never would have happened. Girl, let me stop you right there. Her thinking that if they would have had a conversation at church, it would have went different. Y'all, I can't stand the way church people pump fake. Like, please don't do me like church people don't curse, like church people don't fight, like church people don't raise hell. That is such foolishness that she talking about right now. I just cannot. It's just real self-righteous. It's real self-righteous and it's this superiority thing like, oh, because we are of God. See, we would have acted better than this. Where was the God when the $30,000 happened? Where was the God when we've been sitting down trying to have conversations with you and you got to pray about it and you don't want to give us an answer on anything? Like, come on. Where you was know, God? crazy. The very first scene that I filmed was at my mother's house. Okay. With my sister. Okay. Hello, Tamika. Oh. And who you are? You don't, you don't even know these days. You don't even know these days. No. Now you tell me, how you do a flashback scene when there was never a scene before that? No. Give me a hug. You. I'm your sister. Oh, we hugging now. What oh, you mean we hugging now? We always hug. Okay. Cause you look cute. Thank you. Oh, three days ago. Mm. Interesting. So they shot it out of order. Got it. Okay. But to be clear, but to be clear, so then what was happening when you and your sister had to meet up at the mama house to talk and get right? Make that make sense for me. If the, if the scene by your mom was the first scene, then why were you and your sister meeting to talk? What was the issue then? Because the whole point of meeting at the mom's house was so that they can talk about the issues that they were having that we saw in the previous scene. So if it was out of order, which they do that a lot. So I believe Latasha when she says it was cut and, you know, out of order. I believe you. But I also feel like it seems as if y'all still met up at your mom's house to talk about an issue that y'all were having. So, yeah. I, I'm just a little confused. I need somebody to clear it up for me because this is not clear enough. What have been? Girl, yes. Coming to us with the bullshit. I've been telling y'all that the whole time. That they coming to us with the bullshit. Let's talk about this $30,000 lie. Now keep in mind, I learned it was $30,000 when I watched it with y'all. Now let me get this straight. So you learned it was $30,000. So was it a different amount when you heard about it? Because <laughs> you're going to sit up here and act like Okay, I'm gonna let it go. She said it was 10 years ago when mm -hmm. she was pregnant with my niece. Pregnant with our buddy. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This niece? She didn't say it was 10 years ago though. She didn't say it was 10 years ago. She didn't. She said it was when she was pregnant with the baby. She didn't say that it was 10 years ago. Okay, wait, we can't do music, child. We can't do music. And just because you was at the baby shower, what that mean? Because you was at the baby shower? What that mean? So her being at the baby shower was supposed to prove something? Hold up. Let me go. Hold up. I got to turn the music off. So let me get this straight. Okay. Peep the scene. I'm mad at her for this. I'm mad at her for this because she's using this to make the point that if I stole from my sister, why was I at her baby shower? But if you look at this moment... Don't Tamika look like, here you go, bitch. All right, I'm going to sing. Here you go. L let's rewind. Let's rewind. I could be, I could be, look, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Look. She don't want to sing. She's shaking her head. Don't it look like they, they have an issue right here? And, and Tasha wants to sing. So Tamika is like, all right, I'm going to just, I'm going to just go on ahead. Yes, it proves y'all sweep things under the rug. Thank you, Sierra, because that's what it feel like right here in this moment. That's what it feel like I'm looking at. <laughs> okay, Tamika did say it was 2013 on other interviews. Okay, so it was 10 years ago. Okay, so it was, so you mean to tell me that that girl that was in the video was only 10? <laughs> y'all they be looking like some damn, I don't know what y'all putting in the milk out here okay cause I seen the video of her and the youngest one I think um 
And and that's the one that was real buck on her behalf. So this was the baby shower. So she was pregnant. This was 10 years ago. So, okay. She said it was 10 years ago. Okay. It was 10 years ago, y'all. I was trying to find out where she was trying to prove the lie was. But she's trying to say that because it was 10 years ago, you mean this baby when you was pregnant when I was at your baby shower? And I'm like, oh, so it was another daughter. It wasn't that daughter. Okay, got you. I thought she was trying to say if it happened and why your daughter so old. That's what I thought she was trying to say. She has a younger child. Got y'all. But still, I'm still going with looking at this actual moment. This doesn't prove that y'all was in a good space. It just proves that y'all know how to just keep moving along and acting like ain't nothing wrong, which we already know y'all did. We already know that's what y'all did because that's what she said y'all did. Girl, what? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. That was the middle one. I got it. I don't I don't need to hear it no more. I got it. I Listen, stop. I'm going to give everybody a moment to catch up. I heard it. I heard it. Okay, I got it. That wasn't the youngest. That was the middle daughter. You ain't got to tell me no more. You don't have to tell me. You don't have to tell me again. I got it. I didn't read it at least 10 times. I got it. Thank, thank you for the super chat. Uh, Tasha is digging a hole. You both got checks. So you knew at least a guy. So you right. So if you got 30K, why are you going to act like you ain't know about the 30K? Tamika wasn't the only one with a check that came. Right. So that means that Tasha was supposed to get a check too. Now, why hasn't Tasha said if she got her check or not? Why hasn't she said that? Why hasn't she told us if she got her check is what I'm saying. Okay, let's go back to it. We were escape. Escape was an apple. It was just me and my sister. We were escape. Escape was not performing. Yeah, that was when Candy didn't want to do it. So Tiny didn't want to do it. It was something about Jermaine not mentioning us in his interviews or whatever. Oh, now you're going to act like the shit was so small. Girl. <sighs> Hold up, it's music. I can't. <clears throat> Hold up, it's music. Is this the part? Okay, so they were singing. Oh, so her point was they were performing without Candy and Tiny. Okay, well, then that's not escape, love. If it's just the two of y'all, it's just Tasha and Tamika. Y'all can sing those songs all you want to, but that's not escape, love. I'm, I'm going to just let you know. So hold up. Let me get this straight. This was supposed to happen before we filmed Still Kicking It. We made a lot of money. Then we went on to do the Great Escape Tour, mm -hmm. and we made millions. Mm -hmm. I mean, we made more... $30,000 a night apiece. Okay. So what's your point? What's your point? That you should, that Tamika shouldn't care about the $30,000 from 10 years ago because now y'all back together making millions together, girl. Make, make it make sense. Thank you, Jamila Smith, for the super chat. I don't care what Tasha said. I don't believe you, ma'am. That lady could say the sky is blue and I'm going to check for myself. Listen, you ain't the only one. You ain't the only one. Candy had told Tiny she wasn't going to throw the Scott sisters another bone. So that's why we had to change the name from Escape to Escape 3. And I don't even know why we changed our name from Escape to Escape 3. Because she said it, I guess. But she well, because Candy wasn't in it. And Candy felt like until y'all apologized for calling her a hoe, she wasn't fucking with y'all. Which, again, that's not her prerogative to not want to fuck with people that got online and say that she, she fucked JD and his daddy to get on. Oh, okay. She don't own the name. So it's all confusing to me. But that's for a later day. She don't own a name, but you can't go out and, prom and promote yourselves as a group when she's a part of the group. Is that is that the case? Is that what it is? I don't know. I'm confused about that. But you know what? That's not important. <laughs> so now we're Escape 3. Because Candy gives us her butt to kiss. And then Rocky brings more shows. We make more money. And I still ain't heard about no $30,000. Girl, why you why you being so dramatic with it? You know why you haven't heard about it because your sister let it be swept under the rug. Are we not clear on that? Hell no. For the record, I did not steal thirty thousand dollars from my sister. You know how she do. You know how she do. What were the other things that were said? You said that I hooked up with Jermaine's dad, and that's absolutely oh, that, not that was true. the wrong. That was what I said. That wasn't correct. Girl, girl, not you using. First of all, we all know that Tamika was on was on that radio show going off about Candy sleeping with JD and JD Daddy 
on Tasha's behalf. And Tasha is now going to use that in this video to say that Tamika is a liar. So don't believe Tamika because look how she lied on Candy. Girl, but didn't you also say that? I guess I'll just wait on my apology. I made a mistake. And now you mad, like it looked like you mad because she apologized to Candy for lying and you saying that you just gonna wait for your apology? Oh my God. She is like, sister go, your energy is like, you're not, it's like, hmm. to ask me. Why are you still mad at me? Please. Girl, you just called your sister a thief. What you want me to do? Oh, was me addressing the issues that I have with the group. It conveniently just got cut out. What issues do you have with the group considering the fact that y'all just did the tour? What issue, didn't you just say y'all did the tour and y'all made all that money together? So what's the issue you got with the group? See, I addressed Candy first. I told her I did my part. I was trying to be a friend. It's not about being a friend. This is not the Golden Girls. We don't need we don't need you to be a friend. Thank you for trying, but we don't need you to be a friend. Hold up to the Broadway plays. I was there for your single plays. I was there even when you did the Essence cover. I guess that triggered her. She started that con thing. <laughs> and you know what? Okay, so I'm gonna just let y'all know right now. Candy is Candy cries, but when Candy cries, you know it's because Candy really feel away. So for me. For y'all to be out here every time Candy's crying about something because she feels strongly about it. For y'all, as people that really know her, Tamar, and you, Latasha, for y'all to take those as moments to make fun of her, I just want to point out, you know, you're not right, and that's not godlike. That's not godlike for you to make fun of that lady when she emotional. <laughs> what happens when she starts to cry? Cut the cameras off! You want to stop filming? Give it 10, 15 minutes. I waited. Oh. But when my mama says cut the cameras, she was trying to hide something, huh? Yeah. That's what it feel like since they, since your sister said the checks got sent to her house. Then I went on to tell Tiny and Candy, because my sister didn't want to do it, how upset we were that they came and made us pay them for two shows that they did not do. Because Candy gives us an ultimatum and says if we don't pay her, she wasn't going to do any more shows. So this never tried to play me like, oh, all I cared about was the money. But some kind of way, they got cut out the same. I don't know. Something about that don't sound right. I'm sure there's an explanation that Don Juan or Candy will give about this part that's going to make more sense to me. Because why would... You, and then also, you and it's her and Tiny. So y'all had to pay them for performing y'all group songs without them. So if y'all got paid for performing as Escape and there were two other members of Escape that weren't included, then you do have to pay them because you performed as y'all's group. That's what it sounds like to me. It sounds, yeah, that's what it sounds like to me. Um, But I could be wrong, girl. I don't know. Tasha, you could be right about this. We know how Candy is about her bread. So, you know, Candy didn't continue because she was too booked. Thank you, Lucky Charms, for the super chat. And I think we all know, like, at one point, Candy was overwhelmed and probably felt like, why should I do Escape again? Y'all don't fuck with me anyway. It would just be a headache. You know what I'm saying? It would just be a headache. I'm already making money. Why should I come back to escape? Okay. And we was mad at Candy. We was like, Candy, stop being like that. Go back to escape. And then they apologized or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Candy can't do no wrong in Bondi's eyes. Oh, okay. If that's how you feel. I mean, I'm waiting for her to actually do something versus like just believing people that say any old thing. Like, but you know, I know that's how y'all going to take it. <laughs> Like, I know that's how y'all gonna take it. That's why I don't know why y'all are here. Like, I don't know why you watching my commentary. Like, why you watching my commentary then? See, make it make sense. Moving right along. And said that I was so jealous of her singing lead. So, Humming Coming At You was our first album. Humming Coming At You was the intro. Just Kicking It, as you know, was our first single. I'm singing lead on. Pumping. We want song three. I'm singing lead on. But I'm just saying, I'm singing lead on there. Understanding we all sing a lead. On. Okay, yeah, no, I remember this. I remember this. Uh, Candy didn't want to make new music with them, so they came up with Escape 3 so they can come out with that album that they performed without her. I remember that. I remember that. Thank you. Uh, with you, um... Now, let's be clear. 
I never said that she didn't sing lead. I said she had an issue with me singing lead. Did she forget that I was in the studio at Jermaine's house and I come out and I hear Ooh, all this crying? I come out in the room and I said, what's going on? And she's standing outside with Jermaine. He's looking vexed and she's looking crazy with tears in her eyes like, oh, hey, Tasha. I'm like, what's going on here? As I look at him, I'm like, something's wrong and I need to find out what it is. And when I found out, yeah, she was upset by me singing lead. Listen, I ain't never had no problem with her singing lead. Go ahead, girl. <laughs> Y'all wrong for this. I'm not playing this clip though, cause I ain't got time for uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta uh, foolishness. But I'ma just say this. I don't know why this is hard for. I, she's 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 explaining it in a confusing way on purpose because you know what Candy was saying. Candy was say was saying, why would I be jealous of you being on the songs when I'm also on the songs? I'm also leading the songs. So I guess Tasha's point is you cried in order to get your parts on the song. So does that, I mean, then why were y'all ever in a group with Candy? If Candy was like, so the terrible singer, if Candy had to fuck everybody in order to get her position in a group, then why do y'all consistently want to work with Candy? <laughs> like, why did you want to, why did you want Candy back in a group? Like, why, why? Like, why did you want Escape to come back? Why did you, you know what I'm saying? Like, why did you want Escape to stay together if all Candy did was sing bad and fuck on JD? Can somebody explain it to me? Because that's, that's what you basically saying. That she cried and had sex with people so that she could sing most of the leads on all of y'all songs? Okay. Listen, this this is the first thing that came to my head. You making fun of Candy for crying, but yet you walk around with a chip on your shoulder because you used to be the fat one? Okay. Okay then, girl. Now let's talk about a rock on the block. So why is Rocky in Escape's business when none of the other husbands are? Rocky's been in escape business since 1995 when he was asked by Candy to manage the group. When the oh, so Candy asked your man to manage the group in 1995. Okay. Originally, he was managing me. Rocky was responsible for bringing in lawyers to reconstruct our deal in 1995. He was the one who brought the Great Escape Tour, the only tour where we made millions. Then when we were... Why, why you had to sit in it like that? The only tour where we made millions. And then we supposed to have we supposed to have the unsung man, and Tasha wasn't and Tasha wasn't lying. Rocky came through in a clutch and Escape sold out a thirty city tour. Like like that's what you want to happen after you finish that part. <laughs> Three, Rocky went back out and fought real hard to bring more shows to us because wasn't nobody checking for Escape Three. Rocky also brought Tricky Stewart to the table. So what that got to do with Candy if he made, you know, Escape 3 pop? Like, what that got to do, girl, what? To executive produce our EP. He even sent Candy all of the music in hopes that she would have a change of heart. Then Rocky reached back out to see if she wanted to come back, even though we didn't want her to. Truth be told, we were making more money without her. <laughs> Y'all was making more money without Candy? Let me see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so Candy was on the Great Escape Tour. That's the 2018 tour. So can you explain to me how y'all made the most money y'all ever made off the Great Escape Tour that Rocky made happen, but somehow y'all were making more money without Candy? Can you make that make sense for me? Because that's just what she said. Rewind. More shows to us because we're no... 1995. He was the one who brought the Great Escape Tour, the only tour where we made millions. Then when we were Escape 3, Rocky went back out and fought real hard to bring more shows to us because wasn't nobody checking for Escape 3. Rocky also brought Tricky Stewart to the table. So it wasn't nobody checking for Escape 3. How are you making more money without Candy? Y'all don't know exactly what y'all want from me. <laughs> he even sent Candy all of the music in hopes that she would have a change of heart. Then Rocky reached back out. To so you sent Candy the music in hopes that she would come and sing with y'all. 
but she can't sing like y'all said. And she fucked to get her, her place on the songs. So why do you want to work with her still? Why are you trying to get her to come be on the songs if she can't sing? If she's hard to work with? If she's going to cry about being a uh, lead on a song, then why is Rocky sending the music to Candy to bring her back into the group? Can somebody tell me? To see if she wanted to come back, even though we didn't want her to. You didn't want her to? You didn't want her to, Sasha? So why were y'all trying to get her to come back? I need for y'all to help me. Truth be told, we won't... Escape 3 was in 2005. I thought, no, it wasn't. I thought Escape 3 was after they did the Great Escape Tour and it came out with that album without Candy. Making more money without her. Name one time when Escape I'm... cut Rocky a check after all the shows that he brought. Sis, I don't know. I don't have that information. I don't have that information. I can't tell you. I guess they expected me to pay him which wasn't fair, but I do respect Tiny because she did pay him something. Kudos to you, boo. She never directly answered. Hold up, I gotta, you know, I gotta skip through some of these. Which is Rocky. The one time that Rocky comes to my testimonials. Girl, you went vacant in the eyes. Don't play with me. Look at this. Girl, what? I know the song, guy. Of course, I know the song, guy. I wrote it. <laughs> yeah, you wrote the motherfucking song, and now you can't even remember the damn words. I mean, what the you doing? <laughs> Get out, y'all. We need some privacy, okay? Uh uh. Keep in mind, Rocky and I have been together for twenty-eight years. I mean, we've had highs and lows. He's not perfect. I'm not perfect. We're still work in progress, you know, so. But when I said my vows, I meant that. So y'all pray for me. Like I said, this thing ain't been easy. Since day one, it's been attack on Tasha. Girl, what? <laughs> Since day one, it's been attack on Tasha? Word? Okay. I love y'all. I just want y'all to love me back. We want you to act right so we can love you, okay? We want you to act right. And you can't seem to act right. That's all. Girl, that's all she had to say. That's all she had to say, girl. I, I, I'm i sorry, y'all. I see that. I'm going to read some of y'all comments, but I know there are so many of y'all that feel like, you know, Candy can't do no wrong and Bondi, you ain't going, you always biased and all of this. And for those of y'all that feel that way, I do not understand why y'all come and watch me if y'all feel that way. <laughs> like there are so many other YouTubers that are talking about this that may be on Latasha's side. I don't know who they are, but you can go and find them. I'm sure. Okay. I haven't seen any of them, <laughs> but girl, why are y'all up my ass about how I feel? Like this is my opinion. Okay. And in my opinion, the times where I feel like Candy be, can be called out for something, I've said it. I don't agree that the, the, the Escape and SWV can't co-headline for a show. I don't agree with that. I feel like they should be able to co-headline for a whole tour and somebody need to make the numbers make sense. But I'm also not in business, so I can't run my mouth off about something I don't really know about. That's the difference between me and a lot of y'all online that like to act like y'all know what the fuck y'all talking about when y'all don't. I'll be like, I don't really know. <laughs> I'm not really well versed. So no, I'm not about to argue or be on opposition to somebody when they know better than me in a certain area, okay? I also told y'all I felt like it was Todd and Candy coming to us with the bullshit when it comes to SWV versus Escape. For real. I do feel like it's stuff being done on the show to create controversy because the show has to be successful, okay? I really do. Um, it can't just be Tamika and Tasha fighting and Tasha making imaginary issues with Candy because she has yet to tell us what her issue with Candy is. Candy's a part of the group. We're trying to do the group. What's the problem? We asked why we can't do group stuff. Oh, because me and my sister got a problem. <sighs> what that got to do with the group? Thank you, Paige, for the super chat. It's her channeling a Mama D confessional for me. Oh, it's absolutely giving Mama D. <laughs> okay, okay, gods, gods, they done ran amok in the palace. <laughs> Sasha, whole video format was obviously a copy of Speak On It. It absolutely was. Thank you, Dequasha, for the super chat. 
uh, Candy was 18, 19 years old in 1995. So basically, Candy was all has always been a better business person. This video just proves Tasha has always been and will be envious of Candy. That's how I feel. I feel like you thought that she was the little girl who, you know, she sang, she worked on your nerves or whatever. And, you know, she was a skinnier one. So you felt like they made a big deal out of her because of how she looked. And now as time has gone on, your attitude and your ego and your husband has probably fucked up your opportunities. Whereas Candy has gone on to become a fan favorite on one of the most prolific, uh, you know, reality show series of all time. So yeah, it, it definitely gives, you know, it's not right, but it's okay. You know what I'm saying? You need to make it anyway. <laughs> Okay, but it's so funny to me how, oh, I didn't want to do the show. Yeah, but you still came on the show to reap the benefits of what Candy was providing by giving y'all this avenue on Bravo. So I'm just really annoyed about the way y'all treat, you know, the girl when the girl be helping y'all all the time. And then everybody act like that's not what she does. And I'm like, but that is kind of what Candy does. And I wish y'all could show me where Candy has been this terrible person because then I'll, I, we could talk about that. I ain't up nobody's ass. I'm a grown ass woman over here. I just want to be clear to everybody online that don't know what that mean. Meaning when I get off of here, I don't give a fuck. And no, I'm not trying to ruin my relationships with nobody because I do this for a fucking living. But at the same time, I've been doing this for over a decade and I ain't never, ever, ever changed my opinion on something for no damn fandom or to be cool with nobody. Just to be clear. Okay, no, <laughs> and I know y'all feel that way, but if you have paid attention to me over the years, if I feel the way, that's just how I feel, okay, but you know, if y'all feel like, because I got my little crush on Candy, that I'm being biased, then you should go and make your own videos and talk about it how you want to talk about it and get out of my face, <laughs> but thanks for the view. Thank you, Jazzy, for the super chat. She literally copying Candy Speak on it formula. I can't. P.S. You're my fave YouTuber. Keep going. Thank you, love. Because y'all don't know how every day I wake up like, well, maybe this is the day I'll decide I ain't going to do this. No <laughs> Okay, thank you. And then I remember I got to pay bills. XOXO, thank you for the super chat. I have no idea what's going on, but I'm so glad I caught a live. Sending lots of love from London. Thank you. Oh, my God. I so want to come there. One of the countries I, I definitely want to go to. Oh, I need to see what my husband's trying to do for my birthday. Sir, how, how much time do you have off? <laughs> how much money you got? Where you trying to go? Thank you, Scholarly Talk on Life. How you doing? Tasha needs a PR person because this show and her husband in this video makes it worse. She read whatever her husband wrote for her. Absolutely. And we know it. And there's nothing that she said in this video that's going to make me feel like any differently. And then, you know, I think it's funny that everybody's coming at Candy. But Tamika is the one that said Tasha stole from her. So it's also very funny to me how you make Candy the adversary, even though Candy hasn't said shit about Tasha she hasn't said anything about Tasha except for the fact of I was not jealous of you I also sang lead on those songs so how am I jealous okay she's tried to set it straight about the timeline of who went solo first because Tasha felt like Candy ruined her solo career like Tasha's been throwing the slugs at Candy and Candy has been responding to clear it up for people on Speak On It. And then everybody acts like Candy's the one that's doing this back and forth, a lying on uh, Tasha. But Tamika's the one that said you stole. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just confused about what y'all are really mad about. Sheree, thank you for the super chat. This is exactly why Candy didn't want to work with her in the first place. Thank you. Because it's always going to be some foolishness and some fucking mess. Okay, now I'm, I'm feeling it right now. It's 1,400 of y'all in the room. Y'all like up the video to let me know if y'all want to go ahead and watch the Love and Marriage Huntsville trailer because it did come out, girl. It did come out, and I feel like we could definitely watch it, but y'all got to make sure y'all, you know, super chat and all of that because I don't know if it's going to make no money. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to make money, okay? Because y'all know, like, they'll hit me with a copyright quick, fast, and in a hurry, baby, okay? They love to do it. They love to hit me with a copyright, girl. Um, Let me see. Let me see. I don't see it on OWN, but I know it's on my Instagram. 
So just give me one second. This 561 likes is 1,400 people in here. I'm going to need for more. I'm going to need for a little bit more. That's not, ah, that doesn't feel right to me. Um, I need y'all to like it some more. And then we can watch the Love and Mar Child, look, look, look. Love and Marriage Huntsville Instagram page. I scrolled just past two stories and boom, bow, pow. There it was. Okay. Child, Love and Marriage Huntsville uh, page, you need to unpin some of this stuff. <laughs> Tell nobody what to do on the Instagram. I'm just saying, some of these posts been up here for too long. Nobody didn't see this no more. Okay. Um, thank you, Bondi. Tasha always bring it back to Candy like Tisha always bring it back to Mel. Child, if that ain't the truth. If that ain't the truth. Okay, yes, we definitely can. I see 622 likes. I think if we can get to 800 likes, then I'm going to go ahead and start this trailer. Um, the new season looks boring. You think it look boring? Oh, we definitely got to talk about it then if you think it look boring. Uh, hey, Billy A, thank you for the super, st su uh, super sticker. <laughs> Lemon character moving in excitement. Okay, yes. Okay, let's get into it. Um, let me see. I see 637, but it's like 1380 in here. So I feel like we can uh, get up. We can up. Uh. <laughs> It's 1,300 of y'all in here. You better like, 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 You better like, 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 I read Martel is now suing Mel for defamation. I saw that. I saw that. Uh, Because y'all know if anything, Empress Radio going to be on top of it, baby. Okay? Um, Let's see. Candy always have her nose in other people's business. The issue between two sisters and she has to always intervene and bring herself into it. She loves to be the victim. I'm team Latasha. Chantel Cole, girl, I don't know what you're watching. <laughs> I don't know what you watching because I'm trying to understand when Candy said anything about what Tamika said. All she said was Tamika, uh, that tiny mama told him about the checks. Like, you need to tell me when Candy inserted herself. Also, this is her group. So it kind of is her business. Um, you know, who's getting paid and things of this nature. Okay, like, it should automatically be 1,000 likes already. Girl, you would think that, but so many people watch me and don't really like me. <laughs> Thank you, Raymel, for the super sticker. Okay, the lemon character doing the shimmy dance. Come on, now. Shimmy dance. Yes, okay. I saw that jiggle in here like a me. <laughs> I had no idea about that show you're about to talk about but you are one of the two people uh on patreon oh um love and marriage huntsville yes um i do all of my love and marriage huntsville reviews are members only so if you're my patreon a member of my website or a member of my youtube channel then you'll get all of my love and marriage huntsville reviews because they are members only and love and marriage huntsville starts back april 8th okay and y'all probably not gonna see me with it until sunday or monday because me and my husband have plans for that night and who knows <laughs> we got tickets to morning at midnight girl so i don't know i don't know if y'all gonna see me okay so 776 okay we're getting closer latasha is the one blaming candy so does Chantel think Candy doesn't have the right to respond? Girl, you know what it is. The first thing Candy said was that she wouldn't get in it because when the sisters make up, they will be mad at her again. Yep, they made Candy the spokesperson of the group. And when she speaks up, not everybody mad. <laughs> Child, what adult still saying team whoever? Girl, I don't know, okay? I don't know. We so close to this 800 goal. We are. I'm waiting. When I see 800 likes, I'm going to start this, Okay. Y'all see, I'm ready. I'm just waiting on y'all, okay? I'm just waiting on y'all. Um, even when Tamika was talking about her issues with her sister, Candy was like, I hope you can work it out. <laughs> like, lady ain't even really say nothing, okay? Um, Jay Jersey, thank you so much for the super chat. Love from the snowy Salt Lake City, Utah. Oh, all right, thank you. But didn't Tasha want the other teammates to intervene to help bring the sisters back together in the group, but Candy can't intervene? Girl, it's all very confusing. It's all very confusing, but I see 800 likes, 1,400 people, bitch. Let's do it. Friday, 
They don't see anything. He said... Okay, first of all, yes. Okay, cancer cleaned up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I mean that. Marriage is just difficult. And it is. Nobody should come to me and provide me with information about the company that I don't know about ahead of time. She builds your business up to a multi-million dollar business and then you kick her out. Like you don't respect her. <laughs> so we still talking about how Marceau don't respect Tisha? Season six. Ain't this season six? Which season is this, girl? Because this is umpteen season with us talking about how Tisha still ain't getting no respect over there down to the house. That just irritated me. Absolutely not. Okay, okay. You said no. I mean, the same people you turning against me, how would they feel if they know you still begging me to take you back? And, and Mel has been telling y'all that for the longest, okay? So at this point, I don't even know why she's still saying that shit to people because at the end of the day, girl, what's understood ain't gotta be spoke on. We know what it is. Magazine, I wanna thank you guys. Oh, I also think it's so funny how Sheree can go to Love and Marriage Huntsville, but Martel can't really come back to Bravo. Uh, <laughs> what is it like dating, I mean, he has a reputation for being a cheater. Is as as you this are, she, she actually asked me, are you drunk? She messing up what I got with the right. so you Is she? I was wondering you right. Of course I was right. What I, you weren't. I would like to do is have us to work together as a collective. <laughs> Look, <laughs> child look like Mel about to shake her head and say, see, no, no, Letitia, that's not, that's not what I want to do at all, Letitia. Girl, it look like it's going to be good, but Love and Marriage Huntsville has like 20 episodes every season or something like that. And in all honesty, they could cut down on a lot of the, the bullshit and just give us a good, I would say 15 episodes. 15 episodes and cut down on miscellaneous bullshit we don't need, okay? But y'all see that Lewis and Tiffany are back. Everybody thought that they left, but oh no, girl, they still there. You know who I don't see? Destiny! I don't see you. Where you at, girl? Mmm. Okay? Where you at? Mel Bob is bobbing, okay? Forever, forever bobbing, okay? Does the Love and Marriage Huntsville cast ever get a break from filming? I feel like it's on constantly. I don't think they do. Tiffany asked all the right, all the right questions. Did she? When? When did she ask all the right questions, girl? Let me know. The comeback, comeback group is coming back again. I hope not. Are they back to season one with working as a collective? I hope not. Um, 15, including the reunion. 13 episodes top. I think 15, including the reunion. Yeah, that sound right. Um, So Tiffany, the one Sheree got nice nasty with. Oh, okay. Okay. So Tiffany going to be asking Sheree all of the good questions and Martel going to feel a way about it. Oh, that sound real exciting. <laughs> that sound real exciting, girl. I'm feeling that. I feel like Tisha and Marsha cooked up this pro this group project to put Mel and Martell in the same room to be the drama of the show instead of focusing on their issues. Well, the critical Capricorn, that was using your critical thinking skills, girl, and I feel like you're right. <laughs> I feel like you're right. That sound absolutely true, okay? um, You didn't see Stormy? Oh, she was there. I don't know why you didn't see her. She was there. Have I seen Grown and Gospel? No, I have not. Um, Tiffany playing her role and asking the right questions. I'm glad Destiny is not there. She wasn't going to give. So that's the reason why she shouldn't be there. Um, Wednesday night, I went to the concert, uh, when Melody came to Omaha and the concert was off the chain. Me and my husband had a lot of fun. She did a beautiful job. Oh yeah. Girl be rehearsing. Okay. Girl be in there rehearsing, making sure this show going to go right. Okay. She asked Sheree about Martel being a cheater. <laughs> Girl, what is she going to say? I know. <laughs> Girl, I wasn't there, but I heard about it. What's she going to say? I don't watch. I only watch reviews. I think Carlo, Carlos King has extremely detriment, uh, detrimental to black culture. I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't say he's detrimental to black culture, but I do feel like, uh, you know, I've, 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 and I've said it before, it, it feels agent of chaos <laughs> Okay, agents of chaos is what it gives. But that can be used to our, you know, to our benefit when it comes to reality TV. 
Destiny trying to find a place to stay. Ooh, that's so sad. Destiny has the same bitter spirit as Tasha. We good. Oh, girl, now we good. <laughs> we Gucci. She basically asked Sheree why she with Martell since he's a cheater. Child, not Tiffany expecting a woman to have boundaries and expectations and read Yelp reviews. Girl, what lane do you live in? These women don't care about how these men treat other women. They don't care. They think they coochie special and he going to treat them better. Okay. Let me see. Uh, thank you, Caitlin Dodgers, for the super chat. Honestly, Bondi, I'm waiting on the next marriage boot camp because Kalina Harper and Tony T.R. Marie Regé and Princess Florence and uh, Marlon, Janae Aiko and Big Sean. Like, what the fuck? Are you serious? When did that happen? Girl, where did you see that? Did someone put that in the Discord? Where did that happen? Oh, uh-uh. No, girl, you are lying to me. You are lying to me. I mean, Big Sean and Janae Aiko on marriage boot camp. Oh, my God. Where where did that information come out? Thank you for the information and the super chat. Girl, I'm sorry, but that shocked the shit out of me. <laughs> Girl, that shocked the shit out of me. Let me Google that. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, girl. Let me Google. Marriage boot camp. 2023. Uh-uh. Girl, you are lying to me. Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, let's see. Okay, hold up. I don't, okay, it's the last season. Child, God rest, boo soul, child. Let me see. Is the Instagram going to come up? Okay, hold up. I don't see nothing on here. This is all last season. Who said it, girl? Who said it? Let me see. Where is the news tab? Girl, we going to figure this out. Wait a minute. I don't see this nowhere, girl. Who said this? Marriage boot camp. Janae. La hola, spell it right, bitch. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't see this nowhere, girl. I need confirmation somewhere, okay? I need you to tell me where this was posted. Uh-uh. Hold up. Let me go to uh, Ray J's Instagram because if anybody is going to promote, it's going to be Ray J. Okay, hold up. Ray J. Okay, hold up. I don't see I don't see nothing about it on his on his page right here, okay? Um hold up. Caitlin, thank you for another super chat. Bitch, that's what I said. I guess it premieres March 31st. They playing games with us. They ain't dropped the trailer yet. Girl, what is fake news? It gotta be fake news. I need a link. <laughs> I'm not fitting to believe this. Okay? Uh how they gonna put Ray J Princess and Tierra Marie on the same season? I need proof. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, y'all. I need proof of this. I need proof of this. Uh uh. I, that, that don't seem like something Big Shine and Janae Iko would do at all. Okay. Marriage, hold up. Marriage boot camp. React. Oh, no, it's a hip hop. That's a hip hop edition, right? Hip hop. Uh. Okay, no. See, we still giving gangsta boo and shit. So, yeah, no. I don't see it. And I'm, I'm not going to believe it until I see it somewhere. Okay? <laughs> I can't find it nowhere. Okay? So, we can't. That is not real news until I get further confirmation from somebody. Okay? In the network. Somebody got to tell me. Right? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> April Fools. Okay, listen. That's what I'm thinking. That has to be an April Fools joke. Even though it's not April Fools. It's not. It's it, it is March 24th, okay? We're not even close. I don't want to see Princess and Ray J anymore. Like, can I tell y'all that? Like, I'm tired of them. I don't want to see them argue and their, you know, rich, you know, basement level relationship. And I say basement level because I feel like their relationship is not, like, real. <laughs> okay. It's season 20. Saw the cast on Wikipedia. I hope it's true because I'm ready to see all the drama 
and the Marlin always lying. Oh yeah, Marlin Marlin is always lying. Okay, uh, but you said it was on Wikipedia, and they were saying it was season twenty. Girl, I appreciate the super chats. I'm gonna have to wait and see. Let me, girl. Let me see marriage boot camp Wikipedia. <laughs> girl, let me try that. Uh, wiki, what's the wiki on it? What's the wiki, 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 wiki? Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. No, bitch, you do say that on uh on. <laughs> bitch, you do say that. Wait a minute, let me pull it up. <laughs> It do say that, hold up. I can't believe this. Are y'all really telling me? Girl, really? Do y'all see this right here? Kalina Harper and Tony Vick. This says reality stars 18, hip hop edition six. That's why. But you could edit this. So I don't know if it's really true or not, but girl. It's on Wiki, but anybody can add anything. So I don't know, girl. I don't know. I need somebody to get on the line, okay? I need somebody to call and let me know what's going on. <laughs> let me know what's going on, girl. Because that that's, oh, my God. I, I, need, I need the information on that. I need y'all to prove that to me, for real. Because that's crazy. That's crazy that, that that's what they're saying here on, on the Wikipedia page where you can click edit. I don't know. I got to wait and see if I believe it. We got to wait and see if it's true. I'm going to have to message Judge Tolan and be like, Judge, you know, I hope you're doing all right. Okay. But I need to understand what's going on over here. Okay, hold up. The, uh, the Jasmine brand. Okay, hold up. The Jasmine brand. Okay, let, let's go. Let me see. Because I ain't been on the Jasmine brand in a minute, girl. Let me scroll up and through. Let me scroll up and through and see if I can find it. Ooh, y'all see Takashi 69 got beat up. That was funny. Y'all, Black China be creeping me out when I watch her talk. I can't, it's like, are you in a cult, Black China? What's going on, baby? You look vacant behind the eyes. Are you in there? Are you in there? I'm trying to find a Tierra Marie girl. Okay, or Marianne claims he got a little fizzle pop his job. We know. <laughs> We know, we know, sir. You ain't got to tell us. Ooh. Ooh. Let me see. I'm searching, y'all. I'm searching. Oh, Lord. Ooh, mystical. Still in the courts. Girl, I ain't been on the Jasmine Brand website in I don't know how long. Uh. I don't know. I don't know when I stopped coming on here, but I did. Y'all saw what happened to Amanda Bynes? Them damn child stars. Pray for them, Lord. Let me see. Girl, Dominique Fishback, okay? Dominique Fishback. That's all I want y'all to know. Dominique Fishback, okay? Marlon Wayne's question why he's never received. Oh, yeah, I saw that. That's because, you know, you were Kevin Samuels fan. <laughs> That's what it's giving. You, you, oh, I'm going to just go ahead and give it a search, y'all. Because I thought I would see it, like, you know, I thought it was recent. But apparently it's not recent. Hold up. Let me, let me spell Tierra Marie name right. I think that's how you spell it, girl. I don't know. Um, nope, that's not it. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's do marriage boot camp. See, this is how I be doing my, my investigations online with y'all. Okay. Nope. Nope. I don't see it. I guess it must have been on uh Instagram. Thank you for the super chat, Karen. Hey, Bondi. Just got back from NOLA with my mom. We loved everything. The food, hotel, that felt so at home. I'm loving Melody whole vibe. She has a glow to her. Martel can seem to do everything but get that builder's license. Girl, I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. And yes, indeed. Um, yes, I'm going to talk about Real Housewives Girls Trip tomorrow because I still have to watch the third episode and I don't feel like watching it right now. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm a little, I'm a little zonked from the Real Housewives, uh, you know, ultimate girls trip situation, but I don't see it y'all. I don't see it. What happened to Amanda? Y'all know somebody put her under, um, probably under some type of psychiatric hole because she ain't all right in the head and y'all know that 
Y'all ain't about to have me on here all day. I, I, I. Y'all want a full bindy blue show? Y'all got to become a member so I can talk about more than two topics, okay? But if y'all, you know, this is for the for the everybody, for the everybody, uh-uh. Child, not him regretting not having a baby with Christina Milian. Diddy has a, has his seven kids prepping a reality show on Hulu. Are y'all going to watch that? Because that's going to be probably interesting to watch. Girl, what? Boosie Badass wants GoFundMe started for men who attack Sakashi 69 and fractured rap sh- uh, rappers' ribs. While loving hip-hop alum Rich Dollar says there was no point for the ambush. Why do y'all have anything to say about this? Y'all just be bored over there, huh? Just commenting on stuff that don't nobody care about. Let that man get beat up in the bathroom like he a civilian. Because don't nobody care. I'm just saying, y'all. I don't care about Takashi 69 getting beat up. And I don't understand why all these black men care. It's just mad weird to me that y'all always, you know, want to speak up against me. Y'all be quiet. What is going on over there, Boosie? What's going on over there at your house? Like, give me a break. Okay, it said Amanda Bynes reportedly hospitalized on psychiatric hold after roaming Los Angeles streets naked. Girl, Amanda, you really out here roaming the streets naked? She had a psychiatric episode. They called the 911. Oh, she called 911 on herself and was taken to a nearby police station where a mental health professional reportedly determined she needed to be placed on a 5150. Ugh, child. They thought she was going to harm herself. Okay, the most recent incident comes almost one year to a day when Amanda's nine-year-old conservatorship was officially terminated. Y'all, I don't know what y'all be doing to these kids' stars, okay? But between her and Britney Spears, y'all didn't, y'all didn't fuck the kids up. It's so sad. It's so sad because you don't know what's going on with them. I feel like this is probably one of them case studies somebody needs to do on, like, what happens with the Disney kids and the Nickelodeon kids and all of the child stars. And why is it by the time they get to adulthood, they can't seem to hold their shit together except for Raven Simone and, and Kyla Pratt and Kiki Palmer. That's the ones. That's the three I can think of right now that then kept their shit together. You know, besides Chloe and Haley, they, they just not growing up. But uh, thank you for the super sticker, Keisha. I appreciate it. Um, I thought she was pregnant or girl, I hope her baby is okay. So who baby? Amanda? Amanda had a baby girl? Oh, I ain't know that. <laughs> Child, no, he raising money for the men that beat the snitch up. If there's anything about Bootsy, he is very consistent with his anti-snitching policy. I just kind of feel like, I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm all about self-preservation. So, <laughs> listen, whatever. She had twins, girl, what? Y'all thinking of Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, no, Lindsay Lohan just announced her pregnancy. Lindsay Lohan just announced the pregnancy. I ain't think Amanda Bynes had no kids, girl. I don't know where y'all be at in the comments just making stuff up. Um, and this is why Macaulay Cole can disappear from the spotlight. I know, but his brothers is all in the spotlight, girl. All in the spotlight. Don't even get me started on that one with the long hair. They always play a serial killer or something. I like him. Um, uh, Mrs. Wilson, thank you for the super chat. Tammy, Tammy Roman and Remy Ma have a movie on Lifetime called The Girl in the Closet. Have you seen it? Are you going to review? No, I have not seen it. I saw the previews for it, but I was just like, ooh, girl, that looked like that's going to be real dark on my spirit, and I wasn't in a space to watch it when it came out. But I might have to circle back around to it if I can find it on Lifetime On Demand. <clears throat> okay, girl, I don't know. Y'all can't ask me about, about Amanda Bynes having kids and stuff. I don't know. <clears throat> I feel the same way Bondi Candy was right. Tasha is wrong. She's fake and a liar. I mean, that's just what it seems like to me. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Anyway, y'all, I appreciate y'all so much for coming through today for the little quick live. I love y'all. Make sure y'all like the video. I hope y'all have a really great weekend. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram because the burlesque show is tonight. So you're going to be out here cute and, you know, posting and shit. So follow me on Instagram at Bondi Blue, okay? And I'm going to talk to y'all tomorrow for Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip, okay? And I might do a, <clears throat> a Bondi, I mean, not a Bondi Blue show, a MF and Advice. Because I have some letters. I just haven't had time this week to do it. But I'm going to get a MF and Advice to y'all probably tomorrow as well. If I can do two videos back to back, child, we'll see. But if not, definitely next week, okay? Uh, thank you. Uh, it's Shanice for the Super Chat. 
sad I'm late. I'm definitely catching a replay. I wanted to hear your take on Tasha's receipts. Oh, please, by all means, enjoy the show, my love. I appreciate you. But y'all go ahead and like the video on y'all way in and out. Replay people, live people, like the video. I appreciate y'all. Share it, and I will talk to y'all later, okay?